and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Do hope you're doing well. Thank you for stopping by as ever. So we have coming up on Friday quite an important game against um, against Leicester City. It's um, top of the table versus third um, in a highly anticipated clash. So what I thought I would do is um, obviously give a bit of a review and, and how kind of I sort of see things going so what I wanted to do was is is just look at Leicester really and look at their their last game and, and kind of things that happened and everything and stuff like that so they were playing QPR um they beat QPR 2-1 in their last game but if you look at their form guide um the form guide for them overall let me see so they're obviously Leicester have won their last two, three, four, their last five games. Um, and they've won 3 0, 2 0, 3 0, 1 0, and then 2 1. Um, QPR have lost their last five games. So it's, it's kind of difficult to play any, anything into what actually, you know, what to take from their last game and, and how we can kind of put it forward. So, like for argument's sake, in the last game, Leicester had 80% possession and QPR only had 20, but that doesn't tell, you know, half of the picture. So, you know, um, Leicester scored first um, and then QPR equalised um, and then QPR had a player sent off and then Harry Winks scored in the 80th minute. So they'd held out up until the 80th minute overall. And um, yeah, it was... It's difficult to, do you know what I mean, to take anything from that. The statistics are very similar to what our statistics were, but we didn't have a player sent off. Oh, sorry, they didn't have a player, you know, to play against. So um, the passes, 827 to 209, 976 touches to 348, all of that kind of stuff. So it's really difficult to kind of gauge going on playing against QPR, who are obviously struggling a lot at the moment. They've just gotten rid of um, their... Uh, their manager as well so looking at in terms of how they kind of line up looking at it and I'm, I'm taking this from Leicester's own website they, they play a 4-3-3 kind of formation which to me kind of suggests that it's um, two holding midfielders and then Chowdhury and Vestergaard I'm thinking are used as the wing backs they've got the mouth that is Connor Cody um, in the centre of defence as well um, and for me, obviously, they've got Harry Winks, but they've also got Dewsbury Hall. So it's going to be interesting to see how that kind of lines up against our formation of, you know, the 4 2 three, one formation. So it's going to be interesting to see how that kind of works out and how that how that's kind of played overall so hopefully sorry just heard something. so hopefully that'll be that'll be fine but we'll we'll kind of see how that how that runs out i think f for me we need to be very very well aware of the danger of their attacking front line um our defense needs to be holding up well so we need to make sure that um certain players are in so i you know in terms of byram who i think is going to be fit now in, in left back for me and then it, hopefully rodon's fine but rodon and uh strike in its center back so those two together just makes me feel a whole hell of a lot more comfortable about the defense overall just makes me feel better about everything and then at right back it's going to be a bit of a toss-up isn't it you've got ailing do i really want ailing down no so it's going to be probably Shackleton or Gray, I would have said. And then in the um, centre of midfield, I think it'll be Ampadu and Kamara. And Ampadu's going to have a really, really, really important role in this because he's going to have to keep Kieran Dewsbury Hall, Harry Winks, going to have to keep them kind of in check a little bit. Um, the, the hope for me is that we don't fall into the trap of getting kind of outmanned in midfield where... Um, Piru's going to have to drop back a little bit more just to help out in the field a bit more. And we're going to need a little bit of help from, from the attacking players as well. So obviously I want Somerville in the team without a shadow of a doubt. Um, James I want in the team as well. And just with Rutter up front. You kind of think to yourself, could this be the game where you just switch Piru and Rutter around because Rutter really likes coming deep. And it'll just be interesting to see whether or not that kind of has any effect it'll just be interesting to see how Farker is thinking of the actual game itself it's going to be a tough game there's no two ways about it you cannot get away from that fact we're playing 
top of the league who find a way to win. I think last game they may have been a little bit lucky because they 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 had a player sent off. So by they I mean QPR. QPR had a player sent off in the what the 60th minute. And it still took them another. It took less than twenty minutes to 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 then actually score overall. So, I, oh, it's going to be good. I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited. So it'll be interesting to see how um, how we play as a whole. But that that midfield three that Leicester have of um, Kasady, Jewsbury Hall, and Winks has the potential to cause us some problems potentially. The potential to cause us some problems, potentially. That's some great use of English. And I think what you're going to find as well is that their um, Mavi, <laughs> pronounce this right, Mavi Didi and Vardy are probably going to track back a little bit. I don't know. We'll be Vardy on the left hand side and Mavi Didi on the, on the right hand side, I would have thought. So we'll just have to wait and see how that kind of works overall. We're going to have to be on our A game. And I really want us to set off on this game quick from the start no messing around exactly like what we did to Huddersfield and just go at them we have the players to win this game by a country mile in terms of our attacking front line is ridiculously good and we should have the players that can take it to them completely and hopefully win the game it's going to be a tough ask at Leicester at the King Power Stadium but we'll just have to see how it goes and hopefully the boys can put on a good performance and we can win so let me know what you think in the comment section down below do you think it's going to be a tough game an easy game or do you think it's going to be a real high quality championshipy game as it goes but yeah if you're new to the channel please could you subscribe uh, hit the notification button and um, put some comments on there share the video as well i'd really appreciate it just helps with the algorithm and getting the video out there thank you for the support on the videos recently i am an absolutely minuscule channel when it comes to being kind of like a league united fan channel if you like and um yeah the fact that even one person takes the time to watch my videos. I, I really genuinely do appreciate it. So um, we will see you on the next one. Thanks so much for stopping by. Take care.